In this video, we'll unpack how to celebrate with your team in a virtual environment. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Scott, working with SGEI's training and communications team. The purpose of this short video is to give you some practical tips and ideas for leading remote teams in a virtual world. The world has changed and our lives both at home and at work will forever be changed. For many, leading virtual or remote teams is not new. For others, leading in a virtual environment may be a new challenge. And even for those with some experience leading people remotely, leading people during this pandemic and in the months and years to follow will be an entirely new challenge. See, we believe leadership is the ability to connect with and inspire the hearts and minds of employees to want to do what you want them to do and to perform at their very best. The reality is, in today's world, and especially in a virtual environment, staying connected to those you lead, as well as your coworkers, colleagues, friends, and even your own family members, will become more important than ever. In their book, Primal Leadership, Daniel Goldman and Richard Boyatis point to research that says 70% of all employees perceive the climate of their organization to be traced back to the actions of their immediate manager. This is especially true in a virtual environment. Working with leaders and organizations all over the world, we've learned what we call the five C's of virtual leadership. They are to collaborate, communicate, coach, care, and celebrate. We've found that when leaders lean in to their opportunity and responsibility to fulfill each of these leadership behaviors, a sixth C, and in many ways, the most important one tends to take care of itself, and that is connection. So whether we're in person or in a virtual world, leadership is all about connecting with the hearts and minds of those we lead. Without connection, leaders will forever fight this uphill battle. In this video, we'll unpack how to celebrate with your team in a virtual environment. Great virtual leaders celebrate successes with their teams with remote celebrations and small breakout groups via Zoom, FaceTime, or Google Meet, virtual coffee and lunch breaks and dates, and then, of course, with written communication now more than ever. So, yes, you can have team celebrations with your remote teams without the cost of putting everyone on a plane, in a hotel, or in a single place. Now, the caveat to this is that more than 12 people at a time in a single video chat or a call or video conference can be ineffective. So we recommend celebrating in smaller groups. So in Zoom, here's what you can do. Through Zoom and FaceTime and even Google Meet, you can, you can recognize the contributions, behaviors, and, and highlight some positive stories. Create small breakout groups to recognize accomplishments and milestones and encourage people to talk about and celebrate with each other. You can have end of month or end of quarter celebrations all via Zoom, virtually with everybody right in their own kitchen or in their home office. Another opportunity is to celebrate through virtual coffee breaks and sending sending a, a coffee or, or providing a coffee gift card to each person so that they can enjoy their favorite beverage on their own somewhere nearby their home. We recommend sending virtual gift cards for coffee shops or lunch spots or restaurants that are nearby their homes. Encourage your teams to meet up on Zoom to enjoy and celebrate these accomplishments with their coffee or with their lunch together. Also, you can make a big impact by celebrating through your written communication. So, lost art. So, now's a great time to bring it back. Handwritten thank you cards. Personalized emails that really make it personal to highlight what the person has done well. Text messages now more than ever. And then social media. Social media promotions or announcements to recognize and celebrate accomplishments. Personally, I've been working remotely for a couple of years now. 
And when I put out a blog post or an Instagram, Facebook, or a LinkedIn post in an attempt to inspire people, and if my boss or bosses, if they like it or share it or comment on it, I, I just see this as a way of them celebrating my contributions to the team and, and helping them in some way, form or fashion, furthering their mission. So your team will feel the same way when you celebrate them, celebrate their contributions and especially their successes. So like, share, and comment on social media content they may put out. You may be socially or physically distanced from your team, but that doesn't have to stop you from celebrating. So take a few seconds right now and ask yourself, which of these best practice tips or tactics for leading in a virtual world make sense for you to start implementing in the coming days and weeks in order to inspire more connection with your team and among those you lead, despite the social and physical distance between them. As we wrap up our conversation on celebrating with your team remotely, here's a recap. Leaders, great leaders, celebrate with their team regardless of the distance between them and their teammates and other people that they lead. Great leaders are those that recognize achievements verbally, in writing, and through their action sending virtual gift cards, setting up Zoom happy hours or coffee breaks or lunch breaks paid for by the company or by the leader, giving those gift cards as a reward. Here's a quote from uh, one of our favorites and probably one of your favorites, Oprah once said, the more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. Thank you, as always, for watching our video series. We wish you health and happiness in this season and in the many seasons to come. We will see you very soon.